Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about code converter. In digital systems, discrete elements of information are represented by binary codes. We know that a number of binary codes are available. So different digital systems may use different binary codes to represent same elements of information. Suppose there are two digital systems. Output of one is input of another and they both use different binary codes. In this case, we need a code converter. Right? So what the code converter is? Code converter is a combinational circuit which converts the elements of information from one binary code to another. Now, it would be more clear when we will design a BCD to access 3 code converter. BCD to access 3 code converter is a combinational circuit which will convert a bit combination of element as specified by BCD to corresponding bit combination of axis 3 code. Now BCD and axis 3 both use 4 bits to represent a decimal digit. So a BCD to axis 3 code converter will have four input variables and four output variables. In BCD, a decimal digit is represented by four bit binary number whose decimal value is equivalent to that decimal digit. In access three code, a decimal digit is represented by a four bit binary number whose decimal value is three more than that decimal digit. Now, now this is the truth table which establishes the relationship between input variables and output variables. In BCD and access 3 code, a decimal digit is represented by 4 bits. So, in BCD to access 3 code converter, we will have 4 input variables and 4 output variables. 4 input variables are A, B, C and D. Output variables are W, X, Y, Z. Now C. In BCD, a decimal digit 0 is represented by a 4 bit binary number whose decimal value is 0. Right. But in access 3 code, decimal digit 0 is represented by a 4 bit binary number whose decimal value is 3. Right. Decimal value of this combination of values of W, X, Y and Z is 3. Now look at here. In all cases, here digit 3 of decimal number is uh, represented by a binary number whose decimal value is 3 in BCD. But in access 3 code, the same digit 3 is represented by a binary number whose decimal value is 6, right? So, in BCD, a decimal digit is represented by a 4-bit binary number whose decimal value is equivalent to that decimal digit. But in access 3 code, a decimal digit is represented by a 4-bit binary number whose decimal value is 3 more than that decimal digit. Now, 
we have to obtain boolean functions for output variables w x y and z now first of all we will obtain a boolean function for output variable w now check in which rows of the truth table the value of output variable w is 1 w is 1 in this row now the main term corresponding to this combination of values of a b c and d is a naught b c naught d now in this row also value of w is 1 so the main term corresponding to this combination of values of a b c and d is a naught b c d naught similarly in this row also value of w is 1 so the main term corresponding to this these values of a b c and d is a naught b c d in this row also w is 1 in this row also w is 1 so the main term corresponding to this row is a b naught c naught d naught and main term corresponding to this row is a b naught c naught d so W could be expressed as a sum of these five main terms, right? So W is a function which would be expressed as the sum of these five main terms, right? Now we know that four binary variables a b c and d can have 16 bit combinations but in this truth table there are only 10 combinations because in decimal number system we have only 10 digits right so there are only 10 rows each corresponding to a decimal digit right since there are only 10 digits so therefore there are only 10 combinations or 10 rows in the truth table so the other six combinations which are not in this truth table are don't care combinations for these don't care combination we can consider the value of output variable either 1 or 0 because these combinations that is don't care combinations will never occur right because we have to represent only 10 digits because there are only 10 digits in decimal number system now the w is equal to a naught b c naught d plus a naught b c d naught plus a naught b c d plus a b naught c naught d naught plus a b naught c naught d now we have to simplify this boolean function by k map so first of all we will draw a k map for four binary variables a b c and d first of all we then we will mark those squares whose min terms are present in this function by one right now see this min term is present in the function a naught b c naught d a naught b c naught d right so this square represents 
this main term which present in the function w so i have marked this square by one right similarly all squares whose main terms are present in this function are marked by one now the don't care conditions right are marked by cross right so now we have to make group of adjacent squares now here three groups have formed one group is this one which has eight squares here we now we have to find the binary variables which are common in all squares of a group this group has eight squares so the variable which is common in all these eight squares is a so the term a will be included in the simplified boolean function w this group has four squares so the variable which are common in all these four squares are b and d so the term bd will also be included in the simplified boolean function w in this group there are four squares so the variable which are common in all these four squares are b and c so the term bc will also be included in the simplified boolean function w similarly we can get simplified boolean function for output variables x y and z so the simplified boolean functions for x y and z are written here here x equals to b not c plus b not d plus b c not d not y equals to c d plus c not d not z equals to d not w equals to a plus b c plus b d now these boolean functions for output variables x y z and w describes a combinational circuit that is a bcd to access 3 code converter thank you very much